there are a lot of good things to like about Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's a very cool park. In fact, some of my favorite Disney things are at Animal Kingdom. But. You know what? Let's hold on to our butts for now. Let's concentrate on the stuff I like and really love about Animal Kingdom and then we'll get back to the butt. And also, I need to give a big thank you and shout out to Disney Guest Services as I tried to scan into the park today, it didn't turn green. In fact, my reservation was not for today, it was for tomorrow. I got my days mixed up, not unusual for me. Um, but luckily, they just canceled my Thursday reservation and allowed me to make a park reservation for today, right on the spot, right at the gate. So, thank you so much, Disney Guest Services. Take a look at this front area of Animal Kingdom, where all the little shopping uh, occurs, the trading company and whatnot's right up here. It is decorated for Christmas. They have the garland, they have the wreaths, um, and they are very, very pretty. They do a good job making them really pretty. And, of course, related to the theme of the theme park, which is animals and Animal Kingdom and everything, so. For example, look at the lighting features here on the Discovery Trading Company. Each one a different animal. A very, very nice addition this time of year. The Island Mercantile today, middle of the week, is closed, but the Riverside Depot is open, as is the Discovery Trading Company. And now let's head over to one of my favorite areas of all of Walt Disney World to see one of my favorite attractions in all of Walt Disney World. Indoor attractions, that is. And that would be Flight of Passage. And I'm sure I am the only one who has the idea to go to that attraction right now. Oh my, before we get into Pandora, the end of the line for the Nave River Journey is right here by Tiffin's. And that's a pretty long line. Well, let's go see where the end of the line is for Flight of Passage. I'm a little bit scared right now. You know what? On the bridge, right before I get into Pandora, pan over to my right, looking at the river, waiting for a flotilla to come by, I see a lot of people on the other bridge. That, I'm sure, is the line for Flight of Passage. So the end of the line for Flight of Passage is actually right here and then it loops all the way around to that bridge that kind of goes to Africa. Let's go check on the wait time. The wait time for the Nave River Adventure is 50 minutes and the wait time for Flight of Passage, 75. A little too long for me today. Son of a gun, this contraption with a Santa hat and a Santa beard, very adorable. The Satuli Canteen, one of my favorite quick service spots in all of Walt Disney World, serving one of my most favorite dishes, which is the slow roasted beef, and one of my favorite desserts, which is the blueberry cream cheese mousse. We're not gonna have that today. I've shown it too many times. Instead, what I will show you today is one of my favorite snacks. I think I've only shown it once, but it's over in Africa. The snack place they have in Africa that I wanna to go to should not be nearly as crowded as the canteen here in Pandora. The only question I have is, will it be open this early? It is still before 11 a.m., so questionable if they'll have that snack place open. But only one way to find out. Here's just a little refresher for Animal Kingdom, a relaxation station by the Pizza Fari. This is where you can come in and take your face mask off. Get a break from that for a little bit. Heading into Africa, we can see one of their Christmas wreaths. Very unique the way they do things here in Africa. This is an old bicycle tire made into a Christmas wreath. Also, a very creative use of bottle caps. Still keeping my eye out for a Christmas flotella, a holiday flotella. Um, I'm a little concerned with the weather that they might not have them, but I mean, it, the weather's not really super bad. It's like just sprinkling, but you never know what their policies and procedures are. And as soon as we cross the bridge into Africa, we see the end of the line for the Kilimanjaro Safari way back here. Get up closer, we'll check on the wait time. More African Christmas decorations up. The wait time for the safari, just 45 minutes. That's not too bad. But check out these Christmas decorations that were behind me. Use of bicycle tires and Christmas lights. 
And good news, this little food kiosk right by the entrance to the safari, they are open and they do have my favorite snack here, corn on the cob, for $5.29. And here is my corn on the cob. Like I said, $5.29. The seasonings they put on this corn on the cob is amazing. One of my favorite snacks in all of Walt Disney World. And then to drink, I got a $4 apple juice. And now let's dig into this as if I was with Chuck Todd. Excuse my table manners, but that was good. And I should mention, also here in Africa, one of the most popular Instagram spots right across the street from the uh, sweet shop. Good thing I'm wearing a mask. I feel like I have corn stuck in my teeth. That is the problem with eating corn on the cob. And don't worry, we will get back to the butt I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Let's pause for a moment. We have ducks by a waterfall for some reason. I find this relaxing. I don't think the ducks will cooperate, but this would be a good eight hour video for dogs for YouTube. Eight hours of watching ducks by waterfall to keep your dog company while you're at work. Not kidding, I have half a mind to make such a video. Here in Asia, another relaxation station, a place to take our face mask off and relax a little bit. I think I'll pop down here, see if any of the flotillas come by. Haha, <laughs> right on time, here comes one. I did not have to wait long. Happy holidays. Rain or shine, tis the season to spend some time with friends and family. So here comes your pal, Mickey Mouse. Kinda cool that we got to see Mickey today, but not the biggest name on a flotilla. Santa actually comes by this time of year. Maybe we'll catch him later, maybe we won't. And now to give you guys my butt. You know, the butt I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I love Animal Kingdom. A lot of great things here that I like. Some of my favorites in all of Walt Disney World. But when it comes to the holidays, specifically Christmas, this is probably the weakest park as far as its offerings. Magic Kingdom, Epcot and Hollywood Studios I would consider much better to visit during Christmas time. So there you go guys, that was my big butt of the day. Hey, you know what, maybe that could be a new segment, Rick's big butt of the day. You know what, we'll let Nikki handle that one. Look, another flotilla going by, again, this one is not Santa, I really want to catch the big fella before I leave today. Since we are sort of talking about my favorites today, my favorites in all of Walt Disney World, not just one park like Animal Kingdom, but here at Animal Kingdom, they do have the Orange Fanta Float, one of my favorite all-time snacks. I've shown that float many times, not going to get it today. I'm still pretty full from that uh, corn on the cob. I will tell you though, the price of that float is $5.49. Currently, my favorite roller coaster, again in all of Walt Disney World, is Expedition Everest. That may change with the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster or Tron, but as far as today is concerned, Expedition Everest is my favorite. Not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there, though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. The wait time's not super bad at 45 minutes, but I am spoiled by fast passes and single rider lines, and they are not doing the single rider line for this at the moment. In fact, I think pretty much any single rider line at any theme park has not reopened since the parks have reopened. One, because they mainly use those single rider lines to fill up the carts. And since they're not mixing parties, no need for the single rider lines. Now, here is the end of the line for Everest. Way back here, even though the wait time's listed at 45 minutes, which is not too long of a wait time, and honestly, most of the times, the wait times aren't as long as listed. But still, to get in line way back here is a pretty scary thought. We did get lucky with the weather though, as it's not even sprinkling right now. Low wind, no rain, caught a little bit of a break today. 
as we are about to complete our lap around Animal Kingdom, I really didn't get to do a lot of my favorites. I told you what they were. The thing is, like I said earlier, I am spoiled. I am spoiled with single rider lines and with fast passes. So even though I tell you guys 45 minutes is really not that long, for me, it just is so much longer than what I typically have to wait for a ride. But if you're visiting, I don't think that's too bad. But again, this is a weekday. Those times will increase during the weekend. The Flame Tree Barbecue. Oh my God, when you walk by here when it's open, it smells so good. If you love barbecue, it's gonna drive you crazy. Okay guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. That completes our lap around Animal Kingdom. Unfortunately, we did not get to see Santa today, but maybe next time. And as far as, like I said, with Animal Kingdom not being the best for the holidays, they do decorate the park amazingly. I'll say that, it is a beautiful park at Christmas time. Just of the four Disney parks, probably not the best one during the holidays. That's all I'm saying, just my opinion. So, with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now, it's time to relax.